So guys, for the first step, you're going to get into this screen. Now to get here, you're going to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're going to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You're going to repeat this three times. So you're going to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're going to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You're going to repeat this three times. And then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you're going to click on advanced options. And then once you're on this, I'm going to be showing you two different ways in how you can fix this problem. So for the first method, you're going to click on troubleshoot, advanced options. Now we're going to go with system restore. If you do not have system restore in this list, then you're going to click on seam recovery options. Then it should appear right here. So you're going to click on system restore. If you have any restore points enabled on your computer, then you're going to click on next and then go back to your restore point. This should then fix your problem. If you don't have any restore points, that's fine. We're going to click on cancel. And now for the second method, we're going to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And now once you're on this, we're going to type in bootrec space forward slash fix mbr. Click on enter. Now you're going to type in bootrec space forward slash fix boot. Click on enter again. If you get access is denied, just ignore it. Now we're going to type in bootrec space forward slash scan os. Click on enter again. Now we're going to type in bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd. Click on enter again. And now we're going to type in sfc space forward slash scan now. And I click on enter again. You know to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once that's been done, for the last command you're going to type in chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r space c colon. Click on enter. You know to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. I'm just going to get off the scan now because on my screen it says the ETA is going to be taking 12 minutes. So I'm just going to end the video right here. But in your case, you just want to fully run the scan. And now once you fully complete the scan, you just want to close out of this. Now you're going to continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.